Hiya. Um, I hope you can hear me alright. Uh, I, I did intend on doing like a live stream or a, or a, a decent video. Uh, I've got this little, little mini camera. I'm making a MIDI controller. I wanted to do a, a good tutorial for everyone but I've lost my camera mount. Um, and yeah, I want to get on with stuff so I hope that I can get you a decent angle. Um, show you what I'm doing um, and you, you can hear what I'm saying as well um, I'll, I'll try and place my camera accordingly so that there's, there's a good view on it and stuff um, so here we go right this is the front panel from the MIDI controller um, I'm going to use an Arduino board and it, by the way it's mega hot in here so I'm using a fan if you can hear that going on and over me or over out sorry it's it's got to be done it's unbearable heat um, yeah so the front panel of my board from my MIDI controller the back so what I'm going to try and show you in this video is how I'm going to connect them um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get these pins these inner pins and they're going to be my grounds so they're going to go to the ground on the Arduino uh, and for that, I'm going to use this black wire. So this black wire, I'm going to trim it, I'm going to solder it, and I'm going to show you everything that I'm doing. Uh, so first of all, yeah, I've got the panel, I've got the things, got some cheaper um, trimmers. Measure it by eye. And just give it a little bit extra of what what the length is. I've got plenty of cable here so I don't have to worry too much. Now to snip, I'm just going to go do it by eye again. These tools are cheap but they do save you a lot of time and it's better than using your teeth which I used to do so you should never use your teeth. So that's it, I've got it cut. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and go in here with the loop it round and go in here. Maybe I've done that one a little bit too long but it's not a massive problem. So, rinse and repeat, find the end. So I'll do that one a little bit shorter. So it's a bit tight. So what I'll do is I'll measure this, see how it fits. And I think one, two, three. I can loop it round. And then what I want to do is loop it round again. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to cut seven of these lengths. Um, like I say, I, I just want to get on with this. I've been planning this little project for months, and, and the main thing that's held me back is this little project case. The, the what it's going to sit in. I have all the electronics figured out. I ordered these from China, they took ages, but you know, I was mainly waiting on the case. Um, I went through loads of ideas, and I don't really have enough experience going on uh, with making cases, so I eventually found this on eBay. Uh, £15 with delivery. And the amount of time that it's saved me is, is just, yeah, unbelievable. So I've got four there, I need another three. Go by eye again, it's not, not mega important. So these are my grounds, so these are all going to the same place on my Adreno. And what's going to happen is I'm going to connect the other pins all to the, the digital pins on my Adreno. And when I press one of them, it's going to send that signal to ground. 
and the Arduino is going to sense it and uh, the code that I've put into the Arduino is going to send a MIDI signal and then I'm hoping that I can take apart a USB MIDI interface and hopefully connect it to a hub so I don't have to mess about with not being able to reprogram the Arduino because I want to add an extra functionality later on um, and also I think it's a little bit easier and, and, and yeah uh, I did make another project and the soldering of the MIDI was uh, the MIDI socket was quite hard on that so I've got I've got seven of these strands now what I need to do is trim the ends try and get it short trim the ends again and then what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to tin them and solder them they're all going to be soldered to the, the pins on the switches and like I say the way the switch works is, is contacts inside when you press down on it contacts go across those two pins. These are momentary switches so for the moment that you hold them they will make that contact. What I'm going to be using these for is like transport controls so play, stop, record, um, undo so they just want to send that signal when I press it they don't want to hold that signal because it wants to be ready again when I press it again the guitar effects um, you know they use latching foot switch latching switches because you want that effect to stay on until you press it again and it goes off the camera is resting on a tape measure so I'm trying to get these of you some of the um, sheathing, the conductors were uh, slipping a little bit so I'm going to have to cut another one Bit of a laborious task, but it needs doing. Um, computer's just gone into sleep, so if you see uh, everything's gone blue, it's because the screen's gone blue from the TV. Been no signal. Here we go. Things are a little bit darker now. So I've got my cables. I'm just going to twist the ends. Just makes it easier. I think more solid when the solder goes on and forms that connection just a habit for me basically I, I, I don't know really why it's done but makes things look a little bit neater as well doesn't it and it's easier to feed through it's definitely easier to feed through um, these little holes without your little frayed ends so perhaps that's why it's done Here we go. So I need to cut another one because uh, insulation slipped a bit too much on that. I can't grab end, but you get the idea of it. So these are going to go in. So, like I'm saying, it doesn't really matter which pin you t connect these to, because uh, the switches they just work, you know, like a light switch, like anything really. Uh, I, I, maybe the, the official names like single pole dual throw, or single pole single throw, or something, um, which they put the initials. For when you see them in catalogues and online and where you're ordering from that's what that means 
So, if you get something that's confusing, you maybe you look at the legs that you've got or whatever. I just needed two. These are actually um, cars or boats. You just need like an ignition or something like that. They were cheap. I'm not sure how they'll work out as actual foot switches, but so here's what's going on. That's the pattern that I'm going to follow. That's what a somersault feels like. Happy somersault. Well, happy somersault, sis. Actually, it's, it's, it was last night. Uh, yep, see, that's hard to get in because it's got three ends. So I need to do one. So one more short one. Trying to get it in shot so people can see. It's probably really, really tedious for pros and people who solder and people who know what they're doing. But if there's somebody who doesn't know what they're doing, get some snips, mate. A couple of quid. See how easy it makes it. There you go. So yeah, like I say, it's tedious for people who know what they're doing. Um, I'm tr just trying to give people a bit of a background. I I'm not a pro in any means, but you know, helping people go through like spending that time. So here we go. That's the pattern, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off of here. I'm going to come off of here, and these are the, they're going to go to the ground on the Adarino board. Or they might go to another breadboard yet, yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but they'll go to ground somewhere. The other pins will all go to the Arduino board, to the digital pins. And like I say, they'll, that'll read it with the, the program that I've got on the code. So when I press that, I not decided exactly where, and that's, that's the way that it'd be round. So it's going on the floor. Going in this case. Something like that, and then a socket for an expression pedal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hack a USB hub, and this cheap old MIDI interface. We, um, yeah, I'm just going to try and figure out which pins I need to solder from there. I'll split the cable, and then yeah try and take the power from that uh, or, or a USB hub if I can uh, to the Arduino just to power it and get the message because the MIDI, MIDI is going to come from that um, that's it, that's it, pretty simple expression pedal port little bridge to, to uh, support the, the switches when I'm, I'm pressing on them with my feet uh, loads of tools and lots of mess uh, I'll end it there, make it short and sweet, and uh, yeah, try and see you uh, for soldering. I'll solder the grounds, and then might do a video of soldering the other pins, digital pins. I'll see you later.